and we are in line four. For there are no pangs, P-A-N-G-S, pangs in their death, but their strength is firm. They are not in trouble as other men, nor are they plagued like other men. Therefore, pride serves as their necklace. Violence covers them like a garment. Their eyes bulge with abundance. They have more than heart could wish. They scoff and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. They set their mouth against the heavens and their tongue walks through the earth. Wow. So that's a lengthy uh, stanza right there. So let's, see, let's elaborate starting at four. So for there are no pangs in their death or pains, P-A-I-N-S. There are no pains in their death, but their strength is firm. So even when, they, when they're dead or they die, it's like they have no pain. Five, they are not in trouble as other men. So that's 5A that says they are not in trouble as other men, meaning that as you, like uh, normal people, you know, something always coming against them. Or not just only normal people, godly people, spiritual people, things are always troubling them. <laughs> You know, they don't have to go looking for trouble. Trouble just comes to them. But for the wicked, he's saying is that uh, they are not in trouble as other men. And even if you're trying to do the right thing, then you still get in trouble for doing that thing. But they are not getting in trouble like other people or other men get in trouble. Let's look at 5B. Nor are they plagued like other men. Like what, what is a plague? Severe epidemic. So that means that they don't have, what, diseases and, and stuff like that coming upon them like other people. So they're not in trouble as other men, nor are they plagued like other men. Things are always happening. Things are always attacking them. Six, therefore, pride serves as their necklace and violence covers them like a garment. So 6a, therefore, pride serves as their necklace. So that means they have, you know, like if I'm, if I were wearing a necklace, all right. And then, so I want to show off that necklace, huh? And so, and that's what they're saying that, that pride serves as a necklace and they're wearing it proudly and nobody can because they nobody can tell them anything they're above reproach and then 6b violence covers them like a garment and so they're they're violent people seeking to do harm to other people and they're and they wear violence like they're wearing clothes <sighs> asaf is something Seven, their eyes bulge with abundance. <laughs> so their eyes bulge with abundance because remember that uh, that eyes bulging with abundance, it's almost like that's a form of coveting, all right? Because any, anything that they want, they get. 7b they have more than heart could wish it's the same thing they have more than heart could wish like if i have um you know this shirt then they probably have about 50 shirts and you can only you can only wear one shirt at a time eight they scoff and speak wickedly concerning oppression all right, so they scoff and speak wickedly concerning oppression. So that's in the eight part of eight, 
And that sends us to Psalm 53, 1. 53, 1, that says, The fool has said in his heart, There is no God. They are corrupt and have done abominable iniquity. There is none who does good. Now remember, that's talking about the uh, the fool and the godless. All right, so they and and uh, so they say they scoff and speak wickedly concerning oppression. And remember that oppression is subject to unjust hardships, and they're always talking about bringing people or putting people down. And they speak loftily or proudly. And so, and that sends us to, we're going to go over just a little bit again. Um, they speak loudly, excuse me, speak loftily. And that sends us to 2 Peter 2.18. 2 Peter 2.18. That says, for when they speak great swelling words of emptiness, they allure through the lusts of the flesh, through licentiousness, the ones who have actually escaped from those who live in error. All right. So, and even though they're speaking all that lawfulness, all of that stuff is empty. It doesn't mean anything. It's not going to light. All right, and so what we're going to do, let's pause here, and we'll pick it up in line nine.